when you look into the mirror, you're going to see that the word looks different, right? Not, not backwards necessarily, but the letters are flipped. Here are the three rigid motions that we've learned. So we learned about translations, which is a slide, reflections, which are flips, rotations, which are turns. Figure C is the result of a transformation on figure B. So that means figure B is the original one. I'm just going to put a star on the original. You can tell it's a flip, right? And what line did it get flipped over? Got flipped over this one. If you can't see it, imagine this is on paper and you're folding the paper along this line. This entire shape will get laid on top of this one, right? The word we use for that is map. Figure B gets mapped onto figure C. I want to show you another way you can kind of determine if there is a reflection or not. So I'm going to label the points. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we know that this point A gets mapped on here. So I'm just going to call it A prime. B gets mapped onto this one. That's B prime C. This is really your C. This is really a D, E prime, F prime. Okay. So I want to show you something. This only happens with a reflection. Remember a while ago, I was telling you guys, if you look into a mirror and you look at your reflection, and let's say you're wearing a t-shirt and it has a word on it. When you look into the mirror, you're going to see that the word looks different, right? Not, not backwards necessarily, but the letters are flipped. Like the letter E would be facing the wrong way. Certain, you know, different letters will be facing in the wrong direction. We call that orientation and the orientation changes with the reflection. It's the only one where the orientation changes. Notice that in the, in figure B, if we're reading A, B, C, D, E, F, we're going in that direction, right? Like you have to read around the shape and that direction is a counterclockwise direction. It's the opposite direction of how a clock turns. But if you look at the resulting image, well, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. It, it turns in the other way, right? This is a clockwise direction when you're reading around the shape. So that's a, that's one way to verify that you actually have a reflection. The only problem is if you do two reflections, let's say I reflected this, this shape to this, and then I took this shape and I reflected it over here, then the orientation is gonna change back to the original orientation. Last thing you need to do is when you say reflection, you have to say a couple other things as well. You have to say, actually just one other thing, you have to say across, and you have to say what line are you reflecting across. And in this case, it's just the X axis. Figure V is the result of a transformation on figure U. So figure V is the result. Um, that means figure U is the original one. I'm just going to put a star. Anytime you see a star in a shape, that means that that's the original one. Can it be a reflection? Let's say I were to read the shape. Let's say that's A and I'm going, I'm going to slope downward here. That's B. That's C, that's D. Now, I know this is my A prime, and I know that this is my B prime, this is my C prime, and that's my D prime, right? Like, you'll, you'll have to not really guess, but I started on the tip tip because that's like a point that I know. And, um, you know, I, I looked at the shorter side, so that's the shorter side. I call that B, and that's B prime. So that's how I kind of identify the points there. And I'm just going to check to see the orientation change. A, B, C, D. This is a clockwise rotation. A, B, C, D. A prime, B prime, C prime, B prime. Still a clockwise rotation. Um, direction in the points. So the orientation did not change, meaning that it is not a reflection. Because if it was, it would have changed. And we're only dealing with single transformations here, not multiple. 